Have you come here for me, dear? Or have you gotten lost? Ah, it is both, I think. Yes? No, I think not. A pity that. It would be simpler. A mercy, even. Do not have to wander anymore, no? Alas, we are here, you and I. Wherever here may be. Is that what we're doing? Perhaps it just seems that way. Perhaps it is the easiest way for your mind to make sense of it. I think it is a very good choice. The world looks a little different than it used to, is that it? Feels like you're noticing things for the first time that have always been there. You have seen past the shroud. It only takes an instant. Your soul remembers, yes? Remembers how it sees when it leaves the body, like being reminded of a dream you had forgotten. You are a watcher now. And the watcher you will stay. What indeed? Long hours have many animancers spent studying such things. Not I, though. Not I. I'll tell you what I know, though, since fair is fair. And here we are visiting you and I. And it reminds me of better times. Souls pass on. Some say through Audra stones, which are the blood veins of the world. They leave the world for a time and are reborn into it, sometimes more than they were before, but usually less and seldom the same. For all souls there is a time where they do not live, yet have not passed on, and those souls roam the world, same as you or I, either leaving or lost. But no one sees them because they have forgotten how. A watcher sees, though, knows what to look for. And sometimes they know a person just by looking at them. Know where they've been in ages past when their bodies were other bodies. See memories even their owner can't recall. A wonder to behold when all goes well. A wonder! Oh, nothing to be afraid of, I'm sure. It's just much to take in for some. Sometimes there's trouble sleeping or other difficulties. You should see old Meerwald. He could tell you much more than I. A watcher just like you helped many in his day. Took up in an old keep no one would claim. Not far, not far. Kadnua, beyond the Black Meadow. He will welcome the company. Did you now, dear? My, that would be something, wouldn't it? Could be luck, could certainly be. A storm can be a careless thing. Or me. Oh, yes, entropy. Rima Gan's work. We know little of why or how. We lose pieces of ourselves when we die and pick up pieces of others when we are born again. But less than what we lost. We try to stop it with the animantic sciences, but with little success. No, no. A very small few resist Rimargan's influence and stay together through some force of defiance, at least for a time. But they all succumb eventually, I think. Me! And here I thought you'd come to visit me in particular. Caldara de Baranzi of the Valian Royal Academy of Animantic Sciences. Not the greatest of their number, but I came here all the same because this was where help was needed. <laughs> oh.
Oh, come now. Such a question. As though the answer were plain as a rope tied for strangling. Allow an old dwarf her last bit of cheer. <laughs> Well, I came where I was needed, didn't I? Offered my services to Lord Radric for a pittance. A humble pittance. I was to examine the Lord's wife. See why the gods have seen fit to poison her womb. Studied her for months. Looked high and low for impurities. Tested her violence. The permeability of her essence. Do you know what I found? Nothing at all. A healthy woman, head to toe, blessed with a beautiful soul. Such a sweet woman, too. Meek, but warm-hearted. A few months' time, and the lord of the house demanded answers. For a time, I told him what he wanted to hear. Oh, yes, my lord. She is riddled with imbalances. I must have time to cure her. As the birth drew near, he grew impatient, as lords do, and this is where I've ended up. A student of the soul, something so basic, yet so poorly understood, but so many breakthroughs have been made in my lifetime. Had been made, had been. To hear the locals tell it, we're a gang of soul manglers that preys upon the weak-minded. And the worst of us are. But the best of us? The best? Inspirations. Miracle workers. My parents were soul twins. Miserable before they met. Empty inside. It was an enemancer who helped one find the other. Turned their lives around. You wouldn't believe the stories. Amnesiacs helped to remember their lives. The suicidal brought back from the brink of oblivion. The elderly afforded extra moments to say their goodbyes. How soon we forget when we're afraid. It's a fascinating science. A fascinating time to be alive in a place like Deerwood that does not control the research, no? I love the Valian Republics for many things. But their recent caution will leave them behind, I fear. Goodbye, my dear. It was lovely visiting. Seventeen and a half. Well, could be eighteen, depending on how you count the dwarf woman. The dwarf woman. You were the people hanging from the tree. Eighteen of them. Well, last I counted, anyway. Name's Adair. Though to the people around here, might as well be nineteen. Don't think I'd put you much higher than twenty-two. Twenty-three tops. You look like the sort that likes to get involved. I was smoking over here, saw you staring at her. Twice I refilled my pipe. Never so much as blinked. Your mouth was so slack I took you for a radric at first. Careful, friend. Let's not use that word round here. There'd be any number of radric bootlickers within earshot. Ciphers, animancers, watchers. Same thing in the eyes of folks round here, radric especially. They come through these parts all the time with their cures, preying on the desperate. None of them are who they claim to be. Of course, seeing you with that funny look, I'd be halfway inclined to believe you were having some kind of communion with that dwarf. <laughs> Either case, maybe I'm not 19 after all. N no offense. The town's had it in for me for a long time now. Only fellow who ever stuck up for me, well, he's number 18 up there. My headman on the farm. Used to be my captain during the war.
We blew him up. Pick the wrong god. That's what it comes down to. Used to be a lot of Vathus worshippers in Gilded Vale. That mess of rocks over there, that was a temple to him, to give you some idea. Then one day, somebody named Widewind shows up on Deerwood's doorstep. Says he's the living flesh of Aethus. Got an army with him. Suddenly, Aethus isn't so popular in these parts. My brother Woden and me, neither of us believed it. No way was that Aethus. He enlisted, then I did too. But, uh, he didn't make it back. After the war, people took to punishing Aethus worshippers, accusing them of treason. Got real ugly, especially after the legacy started. Folks needed someone to blame. I was safe because I fought, but then this rumor starts that my brother, that he was on the wrong side. And I wasn't so safe anymore. Until my headman stepped in and said they'd have to hang him to get to me. Seems that's no longer a concern. Of course, the townies don't do the hanging these days, but when Raedric's men come, they got no problem doing the pointing. I even remember hearing something about that years ago. He tamed that place. People would seek him out for all kinds of things. Troubles of the soul, questions for the departed. Of course, that was back when you didn't have to say watcher with a hush on your breath. A man such as that, there'd be things I'd want to ask him. Don't know why I never thought of it before. Not sure how I feel about setting out with a stranger. And a strange one at that. But, truth be told, you might be the only one in town who wouldn't feel some relief seeing me swing from that tree. All right, then. Guess I'll do some sightseeing. Long as... Eh? Seventeen and a half. 